What's up guys, it's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and welcome to my weekly tarantula videos. Um, today's gonna be a little bit different because I have a very exciting announcement and if you've been following Spidey, my little Chilean Rose here, right here. Um, if you've been following her blog, you know that she crossed a very important milestone recently. She finally made the switch to roaches from superworms after eating superworms for years. So um, what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna show you the very exciting video clip of her actually chasing down the roach, chasing down and um, eating it. And then I'm gonna explain the whole story behind why this is such a big deal. So watch. So the reason that this is such a big deal to me is because Spidey's feeding journey has been an interesting one. I've had Spidey for years and years now, um, and uh, she's always been a really finicky eater. You know, like I said, she's a Chilean rose here, and they're very well known for fasting for very long periods. So not only is Spidey a tarantula that fasts for like 80% of her life, um, and she's also much older, so that makes it even, you know, her meal time even more frequently, infrequent. And she's also quite elderly, so that makes her meal times even more infrequent and just strange. Um, so she fasts a lot. And when she is eating, she has usually been a pretty finicky eater as well. When I first got her, um, I tried giving her crickets because that's what they were feeding her at the pet store. And uh, that wasn't really working out too well for her. I was noticing her trying to catch them and failing too many times and, you know, not actually being able to 
pounce on them. She was just always too slow. Um, so it was a bit heartbreaking. And so I decided that I needed to do something for her or like at least make things a little bit easier for her. So I was doing like my research and I started her on super worms and that worked out really well for her. Um, I realized that, you know, she's not so much of a pouncer or, you know, one of those really fast spiders that just like knows where their prey is and can jump on them. She's more of like a little, she likes to dig. And so that's why the super worms were, were working out so well for her. So I thought I had solved the issue. But as I said, um, she is just such a notorious faster. She has fasted um, at times that were not even connected to pre at all um, for well over a year. I think one time she went over a year and a half and it wasn't even a pre time. She just stopped eating and I would keep trying to offer her food and she was just not into it. Um, so, you know, she's always kind of been a little iffy um, and I was doing some research about, you know, these long fasts. And someone mentioned that getting her off of superworms might help her regulate her appetite um, because superworms nutritionally are extremely fatty. And I'm gonna be doing a video about tarantula diets and nutrition um, very soon. But um, yeah, so I, I was thinking maybe there's something better for her, you know, maybe it's something that she's eating um, that is kind of causing her to go through these really irregular periods of uh, just super long fasts. So, and I know that some species like rose hairs um, are well known for doing this kind of fasting, but I feel like with Spidey, it was just really ridiculous because she would like, she was rarely eating at this point. <laughs> and she was like eating once a year. Um, so anyway, so I was doing, you know, some research on nutrition and uh i heard that you know since crickets were not working out for her obviously she needed something slower that roaches would be a great um idea so i set out to get some dubia roaches um because i had a new uh exotic store called ill exotics open up near me so i had no excuse not to get them because my other store that was kind of near me that was a regular pet store um, did not carry the dubia roaches so i went to ill exotics i got the roaches i was very excited and she absolutely hated it. Um, she threw a fit the first time that I tried to give her a roach. She actually did try to strike at it, but it was mostly just because she was annoyed at it. <laughs> um, and she's done that before to worms when she's not in the mood. She'll like kick hairs at them and then run away from them, like just out of pure annoyance, not because she wants to eat them. Um, but this roach lived because they were smart enough to just roll on their back and play dead while she walked away. <laughs> but yeah, so like I would keep trying with these with the roaches and um, she was not having it. So I went back to superworms, especially after her um, molt in January because she needed to eat. But um, so she was back on the superworms and she's actually been uh, eating pretty regularly. This is probably her longest after a molt like feeding schedule where she's actually been taking food and I'm not offering her food too often because she does tend to pack on weight pretty easily actually um and you know the worms are fatty and all that so I have been trying to kind of not give her food too much um maybe like once every two weeks or so or you know when it was right after the molten after she was ready to take food i was doing it once a week but now that it's been several months uh it kind of slowed down a little bit just because i do kind of want to regulate things but so she was back on the super worms and i'm like oh great like now i have this pet cockroach that i didn't want <laughs> so it, it was our pet for like six months and you know i was like I posted something on Tumblr like I'm going to set the roach free because it's been our pet and I don't you know I was trying to clean out my house and do some Marie Kondo stuff and try to like you know just clean house and um, do some spring cleaning and someone wrote to me and I didn't actually know this but they educated me that you know this kind of cockroach is not um, native to the US and it's actually not a good idea to just let them be free or like just to let species run loose because it's dangerous for the environment or other animals or whatever, introducing new species and whatever parasites they might have. So that was a great educational moment. Um, so I was like, oh crap, so I can't let it free. I don't want to like throw it out because I don't know, that would make me feel kind of bad. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try one more time. <laughs> and uh, 
she must have been hungry and I guess this has to do with her more regularly eating but she actually um did try to like as soon as I put it in the tank she was interested and um you know for for a good 30 minutes I didn't think it was gonna happen because um there was at least 15 12 to 15 minutes where her and the roach were just at a standstill and like the roach obviously knew something was up and at one point she was even standing with her foot on the roach for like 12 minutes I was like this isn't gonna happen like if she hasn't already struck she's not going to and I was like gonna give up um but you know she actually figured it out and she did the same thing she does with the worm she does this really like adorable digging thing um she's not much of like a a threat pose or a or a quick striker she's she likes to like burrow into her food and then pick it up and she like picked it up and it was the most dainty thing like you saw in the video it was so dainty and i was like this is so adorable um and she ate the whole thing and it was great so i'm really happy and relieved because i'd like to get her on a less fatty diet than what she was on uh, i'm excited you know to see um, nutritional changes maybe if I notice anything I'm not sure um, but I'm gonna be picking up more roaches for her this week and I'm really uh, I'm just excited to see what kind of changes if any happen and I'm also excited to get her on a better I guess diet I mean I might still give her a super warm every now and then but I do think that like giving a variety of feeders is better than um, just giving her like super worms or just one type of food um, and it's also very exciting for me too because if you watch some of my other videos, I've definitely mentioned before that I hate worms. Uh, I just don't like them. And the superworms especially, I mean, I think you could even say this for crickets and maybe roaches. I don't know. I haven't kept them like really yet, but um, these guys do disgusting things. They eat each other. They, they just, uh. so <laughs> I'm excited about the roach because the one roach that I was looking after for six months was very clean didn't do gross things in its substrate or, you know, just kind of was very a chill pet. Um, so I'm excited for that. I don't, you know, I don't, don't like the worms at all. So yeah, this is a very exciting time in Spidey's life. And I'm excited to see um, just what happens and if she still stays interested in roaches. Um, I know that other people give their, um, tarantulas red runner roaches which are also supposed to be really good for them um so yeah now Spidey's in a new phase of her life where she is exploring new food options so yeah thanks for watching Spidey's first roach <laughs> um hope you were excited about it as I was <laughs> and uh thanks for watching if you like this video and want to see more information about Spidey or tarantula facts I do put out um, educational tarantula videos every Sunday or at least once a week um, and this also coincides with my tarantula Tuesday newsletter which is also a weekly newsletter where we explore tarantula education and fun stuff um, you can subscribe to all of that by either hitting the subscribe button or visiting the newsletter link in the description below I'm adding a bunch of other links down there too um, to my tarantula magazine which is coming out very soon um and a bunch of other stuff that i'm doing and i also want to give a shout out since we're talking about the tarantula magazine to the tarantula collective and um tarantulatv.com as well as all my supporters on patreon who have helped me continue on with the magazine and continue producing it and um, just being a part of my little community and helping me spread tarantula love um, so anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will be back next week with more educational videos. Bye.